I decided to meet with my member of Congress because I was inspired by Steph Chair, the um, executive director, founder, co-founder of ASA. She said that nobody called Diane Feinstein's office. She had a friend, Steph had a friend in Diane Feinstein's office and nobody had called her about this issue. I thought, well, I can make a phone call. That's really easy. Hi, my name is Cheryl Eichley. I'm a chronic pain patient and a member of the LA chapter of Americans for Safe Access. I was going to make a post online about calling, how easy it is that you just, you know, find the number, give them your name, tell them you're a constituent, and they just take your message and it gets recorded. And I thought, well, that's simple enough. So I, I wanted to encourage other people to do the same thing. And I made a post online and another staff member of ASA said, responded to my post and said, did you know you can do more than just call your house, your representative? She encouraged me to meet with them. And I just picked up the phone, called my Congress member's office, um, said I would like to sit down and speak with a staff member about medical cannabis because I'm a patient and a supporter. And it was pretty simple. They just figured out what member in the office dealt with that. Mm -hmm. And then they set up a, an appointment around that schedule. I set the appointment with my member of Congress staff member. And the first thing I did was kind of panic because I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to bring. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't, I didn't understand the process. And so I talked to Don Duncan, the California director of Americans for Safe Access, and he basically walked me through the process. He gave me some literature to bring with me, and he said, don't give the literature to the staff member right away because they'll just get lost reading it. They won't hear anything you have to say. So I brought the literature with me, and I met with Diane Feinstein's staff member. And when I got to the office, I just um, let them know who I was, that I was there for a meeting with a staff member, and I just had to wait a little while. And then she came out, the staff member, and she was actually in a wheelchair, an uh, electronic wheelchair, and the first thought that went through my mind is, she's one of us. She understands what it means to live with a life-altering medical condition, so she's going to at least understand what we're dealing with, what I'm dealing with myself. I'm not in a wheelchair, but I deal with my own issues. We just went into a conference room, the staff member and I, and we just talked for like 45 minutes. I told her a little bit about myself. I told her um, about my medical condition and why I use cannabis, and then the concerns I had about the federal government's involvement in California's medical cannabis loss.